Oh, hi there. I make software for music producers. But my most recent plugin, it sucks. So I decided to update it with flashy new graphics. But this seemingly simple task quickly spiraled out of control. Becoming the biggest challenge of my career. Spoiler alert, I create my own company. Many of you aren't interested in software development. So watch as I retain your attention through storytelling, comedy, and an exaggerated version of myself. Like, comment, and subscribe. Did I create the next groundbreaking audio plugin? Or did I waste months of my life creating absolute garbage? My plugin looks like absolute poo poo. It looks like dog shit. My instrument is just not thumbnailable. It it's not it can't it it does it's not interesting. So now I have to figure out how to make it look cool. Stand up against all these beautiful plugins you see here. How can I compete with that? And instead of using something like Blender, which I can already use, I'm gonna instead learn something completely new called shaders. What are shaders, you ask? Well, I don't really know either. I can't answer that question because I've only studied it for like one day. And so far, all I've been able to make is this circle. I might not even be able to make this look good with shaders and highs, but this is the first day, so I don't know. This is gonna be really difficult. Come on, pups. Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Marley. I think that now you deserve a little bit more of an explanation of what shaders are. So with shaders, we're using code to determine what color each pixel in the image is. I guess all digital images use code, but shaders are a lot different from the method of using external software to create image files that are then referenced on a user interface. Shaders are instead building the graphics within the plugin itself. Basically, we don't have any functions like draw circle or fill rectangle. We instead have to use algorithmic drawing. But shaders work off of your graphics card, uh, which really loves this kind of stuff especially when we are altering the colors of pixels based on time or mouse position, and then sometimes even audio volume. Look how cute and naive I am in this moment. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and it all goes downhill from here. Just know that the irony of this next scene, oh, I'm fully aware of it. And you can judge me all you want, and it will be justified. Just wanted to make that clear. Uh, now I have to uh, go off to a game show. See ya. Yeah, so the is pretty small, right? So sometimes you have to... Hey, uh, message to everyone that skipped ahead. <laughs> you little iPad little kid can't focus for just a few little minutes to grow as a person. Say, mm, no, I just want to stay like I am. Oh, you think you're so high and mighty and you don't need to learn anything else? You want me to put some subway surfer up here so that you can, your attention span can last. You just want to see what I did for the day and not say anything about it? Well, 
Here you go. Look, it moves, but I'm not gonna tell you how. This is a pretty cool angle though. Look, look at this stuff. You're on a chandelier right now. You're on a chandelier. Is, does that help your attention? You need me to do a bunch of like hyper cuts? You need me to cut, cut. You can't even see me in this angle. Cut, cut. Oh wait, you didn't, you didn't. Oh, to the people that didn't skip, I'm, I'm. I'm so sorry I said all those things. You shouldn't have heard that. I'm not. I don't know what got into me. Shut up, dogs! That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm not actually mean to my dogs, I promise. Um, yeah, once again, th th thank you for... It has been a week and I'm very excited to show you everything that I have accomplished. So without further ado, I would love to introduce you to Justin. Look at him in all of his glory. So Justin can react to the mouse position by simply moving the mouse back and forth or up and down. And I see here that, um, don't let him talk? They will like him more than you? Time. Oh, okay. So it looks like uh, it, it's not only mouse position that he reacts to. He reacts to audio as well. So if you were to play a little- Hello everyone, my name is Justin. No, not. I'm here to promote my upcoming movie. Uh, he, he talked about this. Justin. Okay, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, so if someone were to play a synth like this, yes, so his eyes will get bigger and his mouth will ooh and ah. And if you move it up or down, you can see that his cheeks turn red. And also if you do right to left, you can make it so that the filter opens and closes. This is pathetic. Do you really believe your plugin can be saved with a glorified XY control? Let's face it, learning shaders isn't enough in a world that is quickly being overtaken by artificial intelligence. The past week of YouTube tutorials was wasted if not focused on machine learning. You're falling behind. You've already seen what AI can do to the visual art industry and now the music industry is next. No, if you stop. Aren't with oh, us, okay, you stop. Are okay, we're, we're going upstairs. Uh, uh, I'm getting rid of you. You think you're so smart. You're not in control. I am. Basically, if V is on the right of W, then V cross W is... ...introduce you to Justin. Look at him in all of his glory. So Justin can react to the mouse position. Honestly, I'm not really feeling great about all of this at the moment. I'm basically back to square one. Started this whole thing with just a circle on a screen saying, I don't really understand what's going on. Uh, and the fact that we're back to just a circle on the screen, I guess that means I still don't really know what's going on. Um, Programming, in, in my experience, 
has just been a lot of like problem solving, not really heavy on math. But shaders are completely different. It's all the math that I did not understand in college. All of this isn't really, I mean, I haven't made any progress unless I understand what's being taught in the tutorials. I'm very lost. I am a big advocate of the idea that if you're comfortable in what you're doing, it means you're not growing. I guess I'm having one hell of a growth spurt. What are you gonna do next? I have taken yet another detour. <laughs> this is gonna be really difficult. I have created a brand new plugin and 